This video is brought to you by Straight Goods News, Canada's alternative online news source. Visit straightgoods.ca. It's clear that the military felt uncomfortable with uh, this use of, uh, of military assets, expressed that, were clearly overruled, and uh, unfortunately uh, then uh, tried to sort of uh, dress it up as something that was a legitimate exercise. But uh, there's no question about it, uh, the Minister of National Defence certainly gave us the line that this was a search and rescue uh, sort of familiarization for him. No, it wasn't. He could have gone to his destination in less than two hours by boat and by car. He Abs absolutely. This was sort of dressed up <coughs> afterwards to make it look like it was something that was for his benefit. Do you, do you, think, that he's, do you think that he's lied? Well, um, <clears throat> I think that it's a very, very elastic use of, uh, of, of the facts uh, to make it look like he was doing something legitimate. But this paper trail of emails very, very clearly indicates that, first of all, the military were uncomfortable with it, doing their job, and quite rightfully, but of course were overruled by the fact that this man is their boss. And so what should happen then if he, if he is being elastic with the truth? Well, I think that, uh, I think that uh, Minister McKay owes uh, Canadians uh, a very, very clear explanation of what actually happened in light of the facts that have come up.